Hi, this is Marie, and I'm going to show you my version on how to sew up the back of your hoods for your hooded towels doing a mock felt seam. Okay, I am using red thread in my serger so you can see what I'm doing. This is just a scrap I'm using, I'm, it's going to be the hood. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Serge your seam. Sorry for the noise. I see one of my threads broke, but that's okay. There's no big deal. Okay, now I'm going to take you over here to my sewing machine. Now, I'm going to be doing two videos because it will take so much space up. So this one is just on the one for using the serger and the machine. The other one will be just doing the machine. So now that you've got your, your seam so surged up the back, I open it up and push the seam over to one side and then just top stitch this down. This is called the, the mock felt flat fell seam. And uh, I usually use the, um, the invisible monofilament thread and then you can't, you can't see it or you could match the thread color to your towel. I go up as far as I can to the point because I always cut that point off and make the top of my, my hood uh, squared at the top. Go up as far as you can. And then you see it's just, it's nice and flat there. And the way I put my hoods on, if you have your the band at both ends. Now some of them may not have the band if you're cutting your uh, the big bath towels to make hoods. Um, I just take my, my the bath towel and fold it in half and line up the center seam to the center seam of the hood and I lay it on top like this. I know some of them do it a different way. This is the way I've done it for years and it's and it's just the way, you know, I find that it works. It works for me. And so it's overlapping right here. It's 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 overlapping. So I just uh, sew down. I sew close to the edge. Overlapping them. And again, if you're using the invisible thread, the monofilament thread, you're not going to see this. So all the way down, then I turn at the end and go back this direction, so, or back tack it here, and then turn around, and you can feel underneath there your seam, the other part of the towel, and then just go, and then just sew right back down, turn it, do your back tacking to secure it to the towel. Then you have a nice flat seam on the inside and the back side of the towel and it, and it just lays flat and you don't have the seam that you've sewn in and folded back down. This is the way I do it. I hope this helps some of the newbies that are just learning. Now I will turn this off and do the other one. Thanks for watching.